Stay. Good job. Oh. <laughs> it's on me? Yes. Stop. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, it's still there. I don't. No, no, no. Good morning from Chive, Peru. It's still 6.25. We just had our breakfast, which is a big social gathering. We get coffee and coca tea and also some bread. And we are currently waiting for the bus and we're just gonna load up. And the first thing we're gonna see today is the condor flight. In Coca Canyon, there's a lot of condors and we're gonna see some of them in action. Now we're ready for the day. What's through? Right now we are in the village of Yanque and we are observing these young girls that are behind us. They are doing what's called the traditional Peruvian dance. Some of the dresses that they're wearing are quite expensive. We understand about 2,000 to 3,000 solas. It's a beautiful morning here. It's a little bit chilly. We're still wearing our shorts. And everyone else is kind of looking at us strange. Uh, but we are gonna go check this out. Maybe get our picture taken with a llama, watch the volcano in the background, and then maybe get out of here and go watch some condors. What an incredible view down to Colca Canyon. You can see the Colca River and then you can see the sun in your eyes and kind of the warmth and the terraces. It's really, really cool. And of course, there's a llama photo selfie opportunities everywhere. Major tourist stop. It's a cute llama, but that's gonna cut it for me. I can breathe easier. At 3,500 meters, these are some of the highest toilets in the world. And we're told they even have toilet paper. Oh, if you just visited one of the highest toilets in the world, was it everything you dreamed? And it had toilet paper? Uh, I didn't check, but the uh, urinal doesn't flush. This is just a report from the highest toilet in the world. One of them. Yeah. One of them. <laughs> We are surrounded by condors. Yeah, there are condors everywhere here, and they don't flap their wings either. They just go with the thermo, what do you call it, the thermoclines? Well, underwater you call it thermoclines, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you call it here. We gotta get this guy, we gotta get this guy in the background. Look at this oh, guy. Look at this guy. So cool. What a bomb by condor. They just go on the jet stream. So it just kind of glides across and they're really heavy birds, supposed to be 12 to 14 kilograms. Yes, yeah, about 30 pounds. Wingspan is about three meters long. Mm -hmm. About 10 feet. It is a big bird. So let's go watch them again because it's yeah. a lot of fun to watch. Yes. So everybody else went down there, but if you go down there, you have to come back up, which means you have to get exhausted because there's no air up here. <laughs> and this is not really high up, actually. It's like 11,000 maybe. Yeah, we're like at 30, about 3,500 meters. So yeah, 11, 12,000. This is such an amazing place, but it's, there's so many people here that people talking and all that walking around, you can't hear that that you'd hear in the canyon. So we're gonna. Oh, that, yours sounds like a sprinkler system. 
<laughs> but if we were here alone, it would be much better. And that's completely selfish to say, but... I it, can't imagine we'll be, if we are by ourselves, it's going to yeah. be so serene. But hey... Like me taking video, Holof being carried off by a condor. <laughs> Bus not here, so we have to look for a bus. And that's our true bus right there. In a high altitude, when you just walk fast and just out of breath. But I think we'll make it. I think. Every now and then, it just you know, the wind gets knocked out of you. You have to take a big breath. 3,700, almost 3,800 meters. 12,000, almost 12,400 feet. Poop, but we made it to our bus. Yay! Where'd he go? All right, stay. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Is it sitting on him? Yes. It's on me? Yes, stop. Don't move, don't move. It's still there. It's still there. I don't. No, 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 no. How does it say? Avispa. Avispa. Time to go, time to go. Our next stop is this overview of Kolka Valley. You can see all the terraces that's been cultivated for hundreds of years since the Inca time. It's more than 500 years ago. It is currently a dry season, so it's not lush and green and fully vegetated, but you can actually see all the, the stone works and then all the where you think a uh, plant would be. The views up here are absolutely freaking incredible. I can only imagine what this looks like during the rainy season when all this is green. We were told by our tour guide that these, you can see two towns here. I'm not sure, this is called the Coca Valley, but just being up here and driving on this road and seeing all this stuff is just amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Yes, you can try. So we're trying out a cactus endemic to this region. It's called the Sankayo. And it's supposed to be similar to kiwi fruit, but it's going to be super sour. So I'm just going to try. It is definitely sour. It's more sour than kiwi fruit, for sure. <laughs> but if you want, you have juice. The juice is crisp without it. Gracias. 10.30 in the morning, and it's 5 o'clock somewhere, definitely. And I'm trying something. It's called the Kolka Sour. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah, it's not even noon yet, but it is drink of this region and it's similar to Pisco Sour, except this is Coca Sour. Instead of lime juice, they're using the Sankayo Cactus, so it's a bit sour. Ooh. You can definitely taste a little sourness to it. It's supposed to be good for your health. Well, the cactus that is, not probably the alcohol in the morning, but... Tequila is better. Ah, that's so biased. <laughs> <laughs> It's refreshing, it's, yeah, it's, it's good, refreshing. yeah. The gray stuff on her hand, she pressed it into her hand and it turned into a red color. Yes, I killed the parasite. Yeah. When uh, I, so it's this blood. is the blood. It would use to use for lipstick. It's a small town called Maka. This is where you can find the best church here in Kolka Valley. But the small town has a very beautiful setting for sure. No matter where you look, you're just surrounded by mountains and just such a beautiful weather. something we are currently at 16,000 feet and this is inside my bag I have three ink pens and some sharpies and all my ink pens because of the high elevation it start to leak yeah all my pens just look like this
<laughs> oh, really? No, it's not. Oh, Albatross. Like, call it the tunnel of the love. If you are with your couple, you have a chance to kill, to kiss your couple in all this way. I'm sorry. <laughs> kiss. Nothing like a styrofoam cup. Sad Michael.